In this video, they want us to find the domain of a composite function. And they say, given the functions below, find the domain of f of g of x. And they give us f of x and g of x. And they're wanting us to take g of x, plug it into f of x, and find the domain. The first way I like to start uh, any problem with uh, domain of composite functions is let's find the domain of each function individually. So I'm going to say that f of x... Let me use a better marker there. f of x is equal to 1 over negative 10x minus 7. But I cannot have a denominator of 0. So I'm going to say that negative 10x minus 7 cannot equal 0. Now it should be apparent why that can't equal zero because we have a rational equation and we can't take one divided by zero. So I cannot have an x value in the denominator that will give me zero for the denominator. So I'm going to find that by saying not equal to zero. I'm going to add seven to each side. So that's negative 10x not equal to seven. Then I'm going to divide by negative 10. And I get x not equal to negative seven tenths. So this would be all reals for the f of x. Let's write that, all reals, except negative 7 over 10. That's the domain of f of x. For g of x, we're going to say the domain, so we'll write g of x, 1 over negative 6x plus 5. So for g of x, we cannot have the denominator equal 0. So it cannot equal 0. And same reason as the first one for f of x. This is a rational function. Can't get a division of 0 there. So we're going to subtract 5. So we're going to get negative 6x cannot equal negative 5. And we're going to divide by negative 6. So we get x cannot equal 5 sixths. So now we know that this is a domain where it's all reals except x cannot equal 5 sixths. So I found the two domains of the functions individually. So now I want to go through and I want to say, all right, what would f of g of x equal? Now remember, f of g of x written this way is the same as this f of g of x. So f of g of x equals, that would take g of x, and I would write that as f with an input of g of x, which is 1 over negative 6x plus 5. And then I would take this and plug it into the g function or not the g function, the f function. So I'm taking the g function, plug it into the f function here. So I get this would be equal to, I'm going to kind of mark this so that we see it's two separate things. So that equals 1 over negative 10 with an input of 1 over negative 6x plus 5. And then that's minus 7. So this is the f function with g as the input for x here. So we've got g inside of x. Now here's what we learned about the f function. We learned that this original x here cannot equal negative 7 tenths. So when I replace 1 over 6x or negative 6x plus 5 in for that x value, that means this piece can also not equal negative 7 tenths. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to solve an equation where I have 1 over negative 6x plus 5. And I'm going to say that it cannot equal negative 7 tenths because of our original domain value for the f function. Let's cross multiply. And we get 10 cannot equal negative 7, negative 6x plus 5. So that's 10 cannot equal 42x 
minus 35. Add the 35 over to each side. And that's 45 cannot equal 42x. Divide by 42. And so we have, if I reduce that, it ends up being 15 over 14. So I cannot have 15 over 14 plugged in for x here, because if I have 15 over 14 plugged in for x here, that would give me negative 7 tenths right here, which would then be multiplied times negative 10, and then we would subtract 7, we get 0 in the denominator. So this is a domain restriction for our f of g of x function. So I'm going to write the domain of f of g of x. So we can say that it's all reals except x cannot equal 15 over 4. We know that or 15 over 14. But we also know that the original function, 1 over negative 6x plus 5, so this original g function, we can't have 5, 6 there, because if we have 5, 6 there, we'd have 1 divided by 0 for that function. So when I have it plugged in here, it'd say 1 over 0. That can't happen. So we need to say that uh, domain of f of g of x is all reals except for x cannot equal 15 over 14. And x cannot equal the original piece for g of x, which is 5 6. So basically, if we go through this problem on your own, you are finding the original domains for f and g. You use the domain value for f, because f is the outside function. You use the domain value for f, along with g being plugged into the f of g of x equation to find your domain restriction. And then you include the g's domain restriction in your domain of f of g of x because, of course, you can't plug in 5 sixths into this x value or otherwise you'll be dividing by 0.